Sound design plays the role of storytelling. For example, you are in a room, there's rain outside. You won't know there's rain outside if there's no sound. So we need to create that rain drop sound. So that's part of storytelling that can't be delivered via visual uh, sometimes. People will say that oh, sound design is just putting sound effects, but they uh, never think about uh, what are the elements that creates that particular sound itself. Uh, for one single laser sound, we will have like two, four, six, eight, nine tracks of sound effects on it. So, with all this layer, it will become. <laughs> yep. That's how a sound is made, just for one single laser sound. A music has a certain quality uh, through its harmony, uh, the melodic shape, uh, the texture, or even the characteristic of the instrument. It kind of affects uh, one's emotions. I mean, contrary to what people might think, like, okay, you know, if it's a set uh, scene and then, you know, you just put set music, you have to look and look at the whole movie and um, look at the whole storyline, look at the whole character arc to see where the person was coming from. With the use of a minor chord, it creates a sadder and a darker feeling. And because I'm playing in a higher range, it uh, has this sense of vulnerability. Therefore, it, is, uh, it expresses melancholy. And this you probably hear in a lot of, like, Korean dramas or something, especially when, uh, I don't know, maybe the person is like running away in tears and... All this is different from the earlier examples that I did was that uh, now I'm playing in a slightly lower range at a quicker tempo, so it kind of suggests like a feeling of anxiety, it's very frantic. And again, with the use of minor chords, there's this dark uh, feeling to it. At Serial Image, we practice uh, mindful creativity. It is creativity not for its own sake, where we show off, but rather we consider how our work can effectively complement what the production wants to give to its audience.